Hello everyone, I'm going to finally talk about my two new planners and this is a bullet journal, this is a 2023 planner. They are both from Hemlock and Oak. I got the linen textured bullet journal, graph bullet journal, and then I also got the linen textured 2023 planner. Now, a lot of things are happening this year and I really want to talk about it. I'm also going to talk about my Hobodichi Weeks, which I absolutely love. You all know this. This is like my go-to catch-all everything planner. And the other planner that I have, even though I wanted to use it as a common planner because I have so many things I have to do for my parents, I'm basically scribbling in a lot of like notes in terms of their medical vitals, how they feel, and then tasks that I got to do with them. So that's quickly becoming like their little personal planner. And I'm okay with that. I don't want to put so much information here because this is like my life in general. And I don't mind having like a planner where I literally chicken scratch write what my parents are doing, how they're eating, how they're feeling, along with tasks that I just got to do. And that was my common planner notebook. I called it my reference planner and common planner notebook. It really is a reference because I still have to look at like what my parents' vitals are and then report it back to the doctor. So that's that. So today I wanted to talk about my bullet journal and my planner, how I'm using them, why I'm using them, what I'm doing. And then I want to talk about something else I'm curious about getting because I want to see if it works. I really want to have a system down and I'm a person who firmly believes like when you find something that works for you, stick with it. Um, you don't need to reinvent the wheel. And I really don't want to change planners throughout the year. I really don't. My Hobodichi cousin is going to be my memory planner. That's where all like the good stuff happens, family related things happen. And I'll show you that real quick, but I'm going to explain what this is for and I'm going to explain what this is for. So let's start off with this bullet journal because I think it's just beautiful. This is the Hemlock and Oak Graph Bullet Journal and Honey. It's a linen cover and I received some comments in my YouTube shorts and I'm like, I'm going to have a video talking about this. So here is the cover. It's absolutely beautiful. We all seen this because you saw me set this up. Here goes my key. I love the key. And I decided to put these Avery tabs because you can move them and it's so much easier to find what I'm looking for. I have ephemera here, which I love. This is like such a great reminder. It's all perspective, which is true. It's all perspective, right? And then I have my ruler here. So this is basically a ruler that I use to kind of let me know like, oh, here's the middle, here's a quarter, here's the end. And I can quickly reference this and kind of write lines when I need to write lines. I saw a couple of videos like Tracy and other videos that I've seen, I'm going to try to place the channels below if I can remember. And then I really wanted to add that in here because I thought that was smart. And I was like, yeah, I don't have to like keep on counting squares. Then here is my cover page. Basically, this is my social media journal and it's a creative outlet. So what I discovered when I set this up is that it was very, very soothing, very just nostalgia of being creative and I absolutely loved it and I appreciate it so much that I'm constantly opening and closing this planner. Here is a yearly overview. I'm just going to highlight when I post videos. That is it. I'm going to also maybe write how many videos I filmed in the week. Maybe not. I don't know. I could see clearly like how many videos I filmed in a month just by the number being highlighted. So that's all I'm doing with this page. And I explained what happened here, but I actually had to redo this page and then this page here because it was a complete like boo-boo that I made with the numbering. And instead of putting like right out literally all over the page, I just redid the page and I like it. I was able to stamp neater as well. I think I was trying to rush so much kind of filming this part that it came out a little crooked. But when you really like pay attention to where you place your stamps, it can look way better. So I absolutely love this page. I think she is just gorgeous. And I really wanted to make sure there was a good vibe in here to start out my social media journal. Then I have my 
just stats here. So every month I'm going to write down the stats. This is for YouTube. This is for Instagram. That's why it's a little planner because my Instagram account is a planner account. And then I have when I posted a video or when I posted on social media, I will exit off and then I make sure I have like a backup plan. I'll show you in a minute. So this is going to be all my videos in 2023. I'm also going to probably stamp 2023 here because I forgot to do that. But it's literally going to be pictures of my thumbnails all here. And it's going to be 12 of them. So it's going to be three, 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 three. They're going to be small. But it's going to be my most viewed video for that month. And then I want to see what the pattern is for the overall year. And I can decide what content you guys love the most and what's more beneficial for you all. Here is my January monthly spread. Now, when I filmed this video, first of all, I forgot to put in the other three weeks. I'm so focused on setting up January and the where and how I wanted my weekly to look that I didn't even pay attention to doing the other three weeks. So that is going to be hilarious, but I did film it. I'm going to post it, of course. And then I have like my video ideas here, which some I already did and some I am working on. I don't mind if you all see. And I have ideas here, videos here. So this was for the first week, the week that just passed. Then I have Tuesday, edit, upload, schedule, community tab. Thursday, edit, upload, schedule, community tab. Then film when I filmed, when I edited, right? And then I like these kind of like dividers that I did. I thought it was really pretty. This is a lot harder because when you're doing it on camera, it's like you really got to pay attention. <laughs> but I really loved using a sticker sheet to kind of set up the vibe. And it's going to be that way for February. Then I have social media posts here. So when I posted youtube content so just in case i forget to do it on this one here this is my backup so i can see oh when did i post this week okay let me write it down in my yearly tracker and i could see when i posted and also by the way i have where is it i have my months hold on i have my months going across so the months are here and then when i post then I have like my dailies. Now, as you can see, there's so much room. I'm wasting paper. So I'm just like, okay, how do I want to plan for the next couple of weeks? And I'm glad I actually only filmed this part because I'm learning. Like when I started bullet journaling before, and this is before I had a channel, I was literally like putting stickers and, and pictures and then writing everything down. It was like a common planner. It did not look like this. I slowly developed my style and what I liked by planning and that's how I figured out oh this is my style this is what I like uh, this is how I prefer things and yes I am very minimal I don't like too many stickers everywhere but I do like stickers in my spread so I wanted to make sure that was visible actually I need to move it over to the next week and then this is the current week that we are on. And as you can see, I have tabs here. So what I'm going to do is stick this tab right here because literally this is dividers. Now I created this. This was a lot of fun. Um, it takes practice and uh, <laughs> I'm going to practice as I go. So I have like what I want to do this week. So film, edit, upload, research videos, pillar spread. I forgot to do that. So I'm going to do it in the back of the journal. And I'll do it off camera. I just want to do it for myself. And then this is my weekly goals of how I wanted this week to go, right? So I already kind of wrote it in. I was pre-planning. And then what I do is put a line through it. If I accomplish it, if it gets moved over, I put an arrow. And if it's in progress, I'll put a check. And there are certain things I already accomplished. So I was like, okay, if I do something else, I'll put a line through it and then I'll write it in. And this is what's working for me. And as you can see, I don't need that much space. I don't. So this works for me. So that's one week. This is the week of the 16th through the 22nd. And then the week of the 23rd through the 29th. And then I have a notes page here basically talking about what worked, what didn't work, things like that. And then it says here film, edit, and social media posts. And it goes by the week. So I'm focusing my content on the week and that's why I only have the weekdays here 
And then in the back here, I have my pen test page, which is everything. So I have pages here and it goes all the way to 160 pages and I'm going to bring this close but it's gridded. I know some people prefer a dot notebook when it comes to bullet journaling. I like a grid. Uh, it keeps me writing straight and I kind of like playing around with the grid a little bit more. I think it's fun and this is my journal. I love it. I just love looking at her. She inspires me and it gets me creative so love that. Okay, so I'm going to show you a couple of pages from this and reason being is because some things in here are personal and this is actually going to be my archived planner along with this one. So my parents like scribble scrabble medical common planner messy notebook is going to be just that at the end of the year I'm going to take out those pages shred them, recycle them. This is probably what I'm most likely going to keep and this, um, as well as my Hobonichi cousin. I don't want to keep multiple books. And the thing is, I'm still going to debate whether I want to keep this, but the reason I want to keep it is because it is an aristocrat's or aristocrat's cover, excuse me. And this was a beautiful cover. I'm super excited about it. It's very different. So it's more or less like memorabilia for me. So I really do love that. And it just flows with this. And then this is going to be my basically index planner. I decided to turn my index planner from Aura Stell into a meal planner. And honestly, I'm just using it as a meal planner because I spent money on it. And <laughs> I was like, how am I going to use this? So it's a personal reflection area there. That's what's there. We have 2023, 2024. I decided to highlight the months. Then anything important. This I don't mind sharing because I just think that it's good to share. And that is what happened last month. And then this is what I want to do. Wake up earlier, get movement in, journal in the AM and plan listen to gospel music. It really sets a tone for my day. Start reading my books, start moving in the morning, bullet journaling, writing, doing my nails, listen to Sunday sermons. So even if I don't get started on movement until after my mom is done with radiation, because I have to get up super early to take her, then that's fine. My reward is going to be stationary. So if I start from the 16th all the way through the 31st and I move three times a week, whether it's my cycling or you know, kind of like weight workouts, I'm fine with that. Here goes my monthly, anything related to my family, anything related to appointments, anything related to my personal life along with everybody else's schedule or appointments is going to be here. Then I have an ideal schedule. Now, if you notice, it doesn't have work incorporated because I do social media. So it's kind of in intertwined with my day but here's my ideal day here is some of the pillars that I'm focusing on I have it here and then this is an ideal week right so this is what I need to do during the week I just wrote it down because I thought it would be good so I have important tasks weekly goals and reminders tasks to accomplish appointments then main daily focus is going to be up here and then I really like putting the line to see like how long I'm spending on a task. And then I'm just going to show you a blank week because I had a lot of people say like, oh, I didn't get a good look. So I zoomed you all the way in. Here's a week that has nothing written. Right in the corner, you're going to have your monthly view for the week. You're going to have your days of the week. And the schedule goes from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. It has like vital signs here, which I love. Because it's great. If I want to check my blood pressure, I can, basically. Focus here, intentions here, and task. And then, basically, you can do whatever it is that you want. So, this is really going to be my planner where I write down everything, write more, like, details about certain things. And at the back of the book, I'm going to show you. Let me see. Because it goes all the way through December. And it's a vertical weekly. So basically from 168 to... I put 190. 
So you have a lot of note pages, a lot. I'm talking about 32 pages of notes. So you can write down ideas, you can write whatever you want here because this is your notebook. And as you can see, it literally flows so nicely. So for the next month, right, I'm going to show you the next month. It'll have monthly reflection for January. What Write down three things that were meaningful or meaningful memories, what gave you energy, what drained you, reflections. February lists three things or positive ways that you can carve out time for self-care. What is something you want to do? So your monthly goals. What are you feeling grateful for? What habit do you want to solidify? And then you could write it here along with the reward. And then it goes into the calendar. And then it goes into your weekly. Same thing. Monday through Sunday. So Monday start, Sunday ending. Monthly view, focus, intentions, task, your little vitals, your schedule from 6 to 10. And then it goes into your weekly. And then it goes back into your monthly infraction and March. So this is how this is going to work. This, these three right here are my weekly planners. And basically at the end of the year it's gonna look like this and I really like that I really like that it's gonna look like books on a bookshelf and even though there is weight on them I really do like it I really do appreciate it and then if I need to refer back to it I can and the thing is this can be recycled so I probably will keep these for a couple of years so I'm debating probably four or five years I will keep them in my archive and then move them on, kind of like taxes. And then they, these little Hobonichi weeks, I do want to keep them kind of like forever. Um, and they're so small. So this planner right here is super, super tiny. Do you see how tiny this is? Look, like if I take everything out, right? This is how small this planner is. And literally, the one from last year is thick and she wasn't, well, no, she was actually used every week. But you can see, like, I can fit this in anywhere because they're so small if I wanted to. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know what you all do with your planners. Let me know. Do you archive them for years? Do you keep them forever? See, something like this I would keep forever because this is a journal. It's basically a journal that he can learn more about me. So this is a standard size journal and it has the year 23, but I finished it in 22. So she's going to be kept here indefinitely. Um, and it's like, you know, me. And then I do have everything I did in terms of memory in my Hobonichi cousin. Like, you know, this is how memory planning was working. And there was times that I was in severe burnout and I didn't write anything. And that's okay. And then I went back to it and then I was like, you know, I'm just like really tired. And it was what it was, but it's a good reminder you know, when I was starting off strong, I was like, oh, this is amazing. Look at this. Look at this. I could look back on memories and just kind of see it. And I just love the way this book looks anyway. So let me know what you all do. Do you keep your planners forever or do you kind of archive them for a couple of years and then you kind of shred them and that's it? because I really want to kind of find a concise way. I don't want it to be like I have an entire bedroom of just old planners. I don't want to have that as well. So that's it. That is pretty much it. That is how I plan. That's my my little uh, group here. This is my weekly planners. I plan in them weekly. And then I have like my daily planners, which is my memory keeper. That's just family memories. And it's like a journal. And then I have my personal journal stack. I know it sounds like I have a lot of things, but I'm going to talk about it. I think after the end of the month happens, I'm going to talk about like my planner routine, what I do. So stay tuned for that. But for right now, I hope you really enjoyed this video. 
I hope you understand what I'm using this for. And because my parents' literal planner turned into their planner, I now have this planner where it's literally my... Com this is my true common planner. This is my true common 2023 planner because it's everybody. Yeah. So thanks for watching and until the next time. Bye.